Hello and welcome to the version 2 update of the 100 most prolific NES speedrunner list. Uh, this update is something that's been a long time coming, and I'm calling it an official version 2 because it does overhaul the point system fairly dramatically, and maybe the last major overhaul in the point system that I've planned for a while. So it's both an update, and it's also perhaps me declaring that I'm not planning on fiddling with these formula too much more in the future. So, uh, the update itself deals with something I'm calling base points, which are uh, points you get just for being on the leaderboard, just for beating people. This is a an update that is required if we want to allow more than 100 people on a leaderboard, and an update that helps to make very popular games worth uh, a little bit more. Something I've joked as, make Super Mario Brothers great again. So... Uh, Going into this, the information document here uh, has been updated with a lot of different stuff. I, this isn't the official version, this is my work in progress, but I'll have it posted before I post the video. Getting rid of all these nasty red and blue lines, what's that? Um, and there's a, a number of different things, but this is the, uh, the logic section is where this is significantly updated. Uh, we've had podium points before, but I never called them that. That was an update we had a couple, either one or two months in, where we gave first place 100 points, second place 50, third place 20 for every single game. Uh, game value points are basically uh, barely changed with this update. Uh, the only... I, I upgrade the, uh, the descriptions here, though, as they were out of date, because I changed a couple of things. Um, the only real points to mention here... Um, where is it at? Oh, we have added something called minimum value, where uh, there is a, a min value that any game can have. It's uh, actually applied to a couple of games already in the last update, but it's it's not uh, a major factor, and mostly it's just going to keep as the, the lower run games start getting more competitive, and instead of there being kind of a more natural curve, you end up with like possibly five to six people playing a game that has uh that still winds up being one of the least played games and is only worth 10 points doesn't work very well to drive up interest in the game or really represent what people have done so uh this caps out at 50 75 or 100 depending on what the length type modifier is um and i do go into that a little bit down here this image you may have seen before uh these are modifiers based off of the category that is being used, the main category for the game. So, uh, if you want to get, you want to read this in more detail, feel free. We did this isn't being changed though, so I don't want to get too much into it right now. What we are changing is base points right here. So, uh, these are gained simply by being on the leaderboard, and they go up in general ratio to the number of runners on the board compared to the number of runners a particular time is ahead of. The formula is listed right here. It is the number of runners plus one minus the runner's rank. That number is halved and then multiplied by the length type modifier, which will be one, 1 1.5, or two. The, the long modifier bonus that is applied to, to uh, game value points does not impact base points. So... And this will apply for anyone uh, on the board, but specifically those outside the top 100. Anybody who's in the top 100 does gain a, a slightly higher increase, up to two points per person they beat, which is what the world record holder will get. Second place gets uh, 1.99 times the uh, the number of runners. This This formula is basically multiplied against this. So whereas this will be one times the number of runners, or two, or whatever this is. This can increase it up to two, but at like a hundredth, it's 1.01, .01 and it goes up or down, depending on which way you're going, by 0 0.01, which makes sense when you're going from one to two in a hundredth section, so. Um, and now, what points are going, the, your points are actually the added, the summation of these three things. So the game value points, which are a uh, multiplicative formula, are uh, they're done on their own. Base points are calculated on their own. Podium points are cal calculated on their own. 
they're all added at the end. Uh, you do not see that very well in the uh, the spreadsheets, but if you look at the formulas, you can you pick it out. So I want to go over some comparisons. So uh, between the last update and the current one, I do have to mention that some of the information is slightly not the same between both. I copied over most of the stuff, but for the games with over 100 runners, if uh, the, the information I'm using in the update is slightly old, it'll be up to date in August, but for the comparison's sake, it is possibly minimally inaccurate. But the way that Super Mario Brothers worked before Game Value 1000 was worth 1,600 points. Now, the world record holder gets 4,788 as in this example, he's also getting uh, 3,188 points added in specifically from the runner total. And you can see as this goes down, that number does go down as well. And the way this was before, 100th place received 2 points. Now, 100th place receives 1,527 points. This is the game that has the biggest impact, and you can scroll down and say, well, I want to know what 732nd gets. Well, you could possibly do the math really quickly, but um, they get 870.5. Again, these are this is the base value, and this is what it is when I factor in the averaging, uh, because his time is tied with a whole bunch of people here, so it averages out to that. There you go. But there's other games to look at too. Super Mario Brothers 2, uh, scroll up, was worth 1,570 for the world record. Now it's 2,198. Uh, you will notice the gaps between these two are very much the same. Uh, there's 500, almost 550 points separating those two. Here it's uh, 554 ish, almost 555. So the actual point values do not change dramatically um, in the top 100. The ratios, they, they increase very slightly. Super Mario Bros. 3, 2,654. It was 1,600. So, uh, it also does go up quite a bit. It goes up basically a little over 1,000 points. So. Looking at some games that aren't... Uh, those, you know, big games, Taboo the Sixth Sense, world record holder at 535 points. Now it's 564. Now with 29 runners, you might think this would go up more, but this has an LTM score of 1 because it is considered a minor run. And so as a result, only gets times 1 for the top here um, for first place. And it would actually go down to 14 and a half at 100th if there were 100 people who ran this. So on, on lesser run boards like Tag Team Muscle, you see 353 and about, you know, a 20 point scale down here. It goes up to 369, so about, you know, double the number of runners, which makes sense because it's first up here and it dwindles down a little bit. A 1.93 increase, which is what um, two times, uh, I guess, uh, the, uh, the fractional, so it would be 1.93, I believe. Well, well, I guess that makes sense, because that's exactly what it says. So, But you see these things a little bit more directly uh, on this formula. So that's the uh, the basis of it. Looking, I, I will also make this sheet available. This is, uh, there'll be at least three, maybe four or five things linked in this post, because this is really about uh, kind of presenting the uh, change and than letting you guys look at the information. But this is the version 1 standings, version 2 standings. It goes all the way down to 250. I didn't really... You can... If you want to look at anybody past that, you can. You still have the ability to do that. You just have to do it more manually. Um, and you can see, uh, looking in here, 4,789. Um, we flip back to 4,788. So, <laughs> Nifsky is basically just outside the 250 just by himself, just as the world record holder. So, some people might think it should be even higher, but that's, you know, one way of comparing it. But uh, you, you can look at these yourself. There are some changes 
Um, this is the one I, I, I think is most interesting to look at. Uh, Oberswarm is somebody who, you know, got a decent boost out of here. Was 7,000 points behind Nescar, winds up being only 3,000 points behind. Um, uh, and, and you can, again, you can do your own visual check on that. But, uh, this page shows some comparisons. It shows the total increases, which I believe the highest increase for this update actually goes to Arcus. Um, but if you look at just percentage-wise, uh, Takate, Andrew G, Twintail, Nami, Terrific, Tracy, Ohan all get a fairly substantial percentage increase. And a lot of this is because they either have very good times and very popular games, or they have times just outside the top 100 or fairly high, in the case of Super Mario Brothers, where they're gaining uh, a lot of points that for runs that weren't getting caught before. And uh, I do mention a few ways to kind of look at this. Um, the mean only showcases the names uh, on the list. This is the, uh, the mean values. So the average increase is 36.94. The average percentage increase is 27.13. So, you know, right about here, which makes sense. And if you look, the, uh, the rank changes pretty much follow with that too. Um, you can see some people don't fare so well in this uh, update, uh, like myself, but I thought this was important to get uh, some of the more popular games uh, the sort of push they needed, and to get people outside of the top 100 to gain a boost, because as it was, there's no reason to run Super Mario Brothers if you were just wanting to get, you know, run prolifics, which I, I, I've said before, I don't really recommend. I, I think you should just run whatever you want to run, and hopefully the, uh, the metric catches. But you can you can compare a few things here. The rank changes are significant in some cases, in some cases not so much. So if you look at the percentages, you'll see things uh, change over here. The uh, the bolds are was out of the top 100 or is going out of the top 100 just to kind of highlight uh, these sorts of things to, to let people know. Um, but yeah, if you got a score that's above the average here for the total average, really the percentage increase I think is the most interesting one because uh, the the total numbers, you can have uh, not performed too well in this update and still gained a lot of points just because you're in a lot of games. Like, um, I think Smart Alex is an example here. Actually falls a spot, but still gains almost 7,300 points. So this does result in a, a fairly significant amount of point inflation, but I knew that was going to happen and we just kind of accepted it. But it also means that everything going forward will still have that same point inflation. So, uh, that's, that's really all I had to go over. Again, the, the, the main crux of this is that for any random game, uh, you are now getting, and if you want to look at this formula and figure it out, you know, by all means, it's, it looks a lot worse than it is, <laughs> but um, the, uh, the, the, the crux of the matter is that right now uh, there is, um, you get a significant boost for being in more popular games. And I say significant, but it's not earth shattering, but it just does allow uh, more popular games to get uh, some changes. There's, there's one other change I've made alongside this because I realized this change was going to uh, be very odd for a few games, and that change is that any game that has at least five people tied for the world record and that and it's a significant percentage, I, I'm specifically pointing out Fun Alone, but this will actually apply to a few other games as well. But any game that's in this category um, will be given a minor rating from here on out. And uh, the reason why is because this bonus ends up being fairly significant. And it doesn't make sense to rate these games that highly uh, when there's an obvious scenario where uh, there's a ceiling that people can hit. So if it's if a game that you know more than five people get world record on, it's probably not generally considered to be a, a top tier run. So, all that said, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned. Uh, end of August, we'll have the next full update. 
until then, thank you and uh, have a good one.